Talk, where we talk taxes and tax-free living. 365. Here are your hosts, Craig White, Sebastian Singh, and Patrick Augustin. And welcome to another wonderful episode, as I mumble through that. Hey, hey, that's all right, we're here though. <laughs> FTQ Talks, uh, one of your hosts, Craig White, and with me is the award-winning <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always just want to say that, right? Why no, not? We'll Nobel win Prize winner. Point. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got it. It's on the horizon. Mr. Sebastian Singh. What's up, Sebastian? What's going on, Craig White? Thank you, everybody else, for joining us once again. Um, if you don't know, this is TQ Financial Services, and we call this segment TQ Talk. Uh, you can find us on all your social media platforms, as well as your podcasting platforms. And, of course, uh, we cannot forget to shout out Patrick. Pat. What's up, Pat? <laughs> Baby watcher. Anyway, uh, if you don't know, we are a tax and advisory firm, and our job is to use, listen, we're going to either help you to get a bigger refund or help you to owe a lot less by giving you wonderful tax planning strategies, 365. That's what we do. Work with you all year round to help you to be in the best position. We also use little known life insurance strategies to help you build wealth for yourself now as well as for the generations to come. And as we're talking about the generations to come, great yeah, segment, segue. Like that, right? Man, we're both uh, mumbling, Yeah, it's, huh? it's tired, tired. But yeah, great segue. Um, parents, mm -hmm. we're getting child tax credits mm -hmm. at some point, and they want to bring them back, correct? Yeah, they're doing it. Uh, so we're talking today, right, or tonight, about the child tax credit, which is something that's been around forever, right? It's right. the earned income credit, child tax credit, they go hand in hand. And uh, recapping is Biden, I guess, one of his proposed bills is that he wants to re-implement the child tax credit to where it is year round, right? It's coming through to you every year instead of just being a big credit that you get on, or a decent credit that you get on when your refund, money. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you file, I should say. Or your return, let me not just yeah. say refund. When you file, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, that was following a lot of the, a lot of the trends, let me call them trends. I, I feel like that's probably, I'm getting in trouble for using that word. Mm -hmm. But the trends of other nations taking care of their people a little better. Mm -hmm. So especially through COVID, you saw a lot of disparity when it came to the US versus places like Canada or like Sweden. And I know I'm going real extreme on the Sweden thing. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it was showing that we, we could do better. Let me not say we don't right, do enough, right. but that we could do better for our citizens and it worked yes yeah because yeah. so you know i like, like the fact that you already know we're going to talk numbers yeah uh, so so i was excited by seeing the results of it mm -hmm. well hold on before you give them results tell them what tell them what happened back during the COVID time because you know again we're in a new tax year that child tax credit has since dissipated and change so what was it before what do you remember the so you got like two to three right two to three thousand well yeah it was two two thousand was the original was the child original tax amount. and then during covid they changed it they said hey you need it? a little extra yeah. money right so we're gonna give uh correct me if i'm wrong thirty six hundred dollars for kids zero to five and kids six to seventeen we're gonna give three thousand but right. because of when it happened it was halfway through the tax year so they split it and said hey we're gonna issue it between July and December, and you guys are gonna, so half of that, let's pretend that they got 3000 $1,500 would go towards the child during the three, six month period, and the other 1500 would then be used on the actual tax return. So it's a total of 3000 but the key point that you're getting to, which, you know, please jump in, is that the money that was given throughout the year for those six months, it helped a lot. Right, and and the interesting part about that is they went ahead and they used the direct deposit um, accounts and stuff like that from returns that had already been filed mm -hmm. in the past to go ahead and just drop that in your bucket, right? You didn't have to wait on a check or wait on anything. It just got in there every direct deposit um, until, you, of course, you filed and then you got the, the, got the other amount. Right. Um, but what we found interesting is that people spent it on goods, home goods for children. Yes. Right, and so there was a study done by Columbia, yes? Yeah, I believe so. Um, and 25% of child poverty went down during that time. That's crazy though. Like Which I know you were excited. Listen. Six months. 25% yeah. 
That's mad. Over six months. Yeah. And and they tracked how, you know, you could track the spending when it comes to leisure products or electronic right. services, whatever it may be. And they're specifying that a lot of the the money that did go out went to things to benefit children as well as uh, they had something about uh, poverty out over there as well. Yeah, they were saying that it helped to reduce poverty, but it also went literally to just the paying of regular bills, household goods, durabilities. Like, so that way, here it is right here, 25%. You're right. Yeah, yeah. By 25% is where the child poverty fell, uh, level fell, which is crazy. Huge. And yeah, Columbia University is the one that did it. And they studied, also found that the money was used to help to get rid of food scarcity levels. So wow. that went down. And also, parents reported using advanced payments for household essentials like groceries new clothing for school and utilities man so that's what i'm saying they tracked it and they showed that the money actually got spent in the sectors they were hoping it got spent in yeah for the and purpose exactly. that was the purpose of it yeah and it got spent at home let me say quote, air quotes right? right at home so in the u.s in your city uh, in your town in your in your state whatever it may be so the money really got recirculated in the community and that excited me yeah i can understand I, that. i know there's pushback from from other communities um and I don't have kids, so I didn't get any of that anyway. <laughs> but <laughs> seeing these numbers really, really excites me. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the pushback is we have other things to spend money on. We being the the nation, right? And and uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. So you you can fall on either side of the fence on that one. Yeah. So you, at the bottom of the article, it was talking about as Biden was addressing this whole situation. We'll give you more details in a second. That the Republican Party, we're not going on either side. I'm just reading it. That's what it says. Their comment was, which was interesting, um, was that, listen, to help families is 100%, and I'm sub paraphrasing, very important, and that's what we should be doing. But right. it's very costly, right. and we should find, a, uh, no, it's costly and can be done in a different manner. My issue with that statement is what mother flipping manner? Because as my as my mom and dad would always tell me, if you don't have something positive, say don't say it. That's number one. Number two is don't just tell me the problem. Give me a solution. Possible solution. Always. So we don't know if they're coming with a no no no. Solution. We don't know if they're coming hold with on, a, hold on, hold on. a a restructured stop. A, stop. a part of this bill or a restructured uh, version of this bill. Because that a lot of times that's what they do, right? They're like, no, your bill truly, truly is out of line with how we feel. How about this? And they'll come with some kind of a compromise. Um, I just hope it gets back to helping the people because that that is tremendous. It is. But so here's my thing, right? You are again that glass half full guy, and I'm saying that this is not a brand new bill. This is now we are in 2023, right. doing the 2022 taxes. Right. They had an entire year of 2022 to which they could have implemented this, right? So Biden is now pitching it again. I'm sure it's trying to you know bolster and get people to be on his side, and that's cool. But my point is that ended in 2021. Right. In 2022, when he wanted to continue this, right? And if you said, "Hey, I don't like it. It's too whatever." You have a year to come up with a strategy. We're now in March. You still haven't given me anything. So so you, you say that, and I'm saying to you, here's where politics becomes disgusting to me. Yeah, where because we get to a, you a, don't even, a you're, stop, a you, full stop. Right. So you forget the quote-unquote people you're here to help. You're literally just being biased because you don't want something else to happen. And as you told me before, if you say that cost is the issue, how can you really claim that that really is? You're getting a two thousand dollar credit regardless. He's or the administration is saying, listen, it's three and thirty six. It's not a giant right, right, right. I get I get the numbers. It's going to change, but the money goes back into our society, and that's the biggest part so for what, me. <laughs> it's it's recirculating, and you know they're they're probably they whoever is going to oppose this is probably going to uh, say that the. The study was skewed, or this or that, Always. that or the other, yeah. right? And I'm sure there are more than just this one study that we brought up. <laughs> um, but <laughs> if it's going back into the community, <laughs> right, into your mom and pop, sure, we love the little small businesses, but going back into Walmart to Target, yes, going everywhere everybody. that's yeah. going to help yeah. us, uh, I'm totally for it. The, the, the kids and the businesses that it helps. But let me give you some more details on this bill so we can move back on pause. So look, guys, the point is, again, they're trying to re-implement it. It would be year-round, right? So 
uh, 12 months out of the year, you get that money split, right? That's what it would be. And it's also a fully refundable credit. That means that, uh, again, depending on if the way it works now is if you were past a certain income level, that child tax credit would not go to you. Now they're saying, look, if you got the kid, pretty much we're going to give you the money. That's right. what it is. It's going to go towards something. It'll lower your tax bill or give you back a refund, but you're going to help you because at the end of the day, you got a kid. My only suggestion, my only suggestion, which is for all the kid stuff that goes on, whether it be, you know, earned income credit, child tax credit, additional child tax credit, all the, all the, the daycare, all those things, whatever right. the case is, you really got to address the age because it stops at 17 and I am so perplexed as to how in God's name they ended up at 17 because maybe you know a lot of kids that graduate high school so at 17 at, but from what I know hold on, from my knowledge it's usually about 19 18 to 19 ready so what is that ready what's the legal uh, working age what does that have so to do so now with price you as a child can start to help support your own uh, your own needs so, Let's say, so your parents have helped you up mm -hmm. until 17. Uh -huh. At 16, 17, the, I believe, I hear the uh, uh, assumed and insinuated uh, uh, next step right. is to go ahead and get your little part-time. I don't want to call it little, my bad. I, I hear really, you. really hate that. Right. But get your, your part-time part or mm -hmm. start up a little business or do something to bring in something to help, help offset the cost of your living, really. Mm -hmm. Supporting yourself, whether it be food and, and clothes to get to school or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. but uh, you're able to now bring in some income. So that that I think that's the outlook on that part. So here's where you see I'm gonna end up in politics at some. I think Rhea and I should go. She doesn't even though we can now keep our kids on insurance till forever. Right. So <laughs> here that issue bothers. It's a great point, by the way. I will say that. Here's my issue. Common sense has to play a part in the decision making, and. Most I know a lot of these people have kids. Your kids going to work part time is not having money coming into your household. It's going to them to do the things that they want to do because you are saying, "Hey, I listen. Your hundred dollars that you brought in this month, what in the world is that going to do really to help me?" So, so what I'm saying is, listen, man. You know exactly where that money's going. I'm talking to both sides of that. Right, right, right. You right, know right. really where that's going. We can going. trace it and we see where it's going. And you right. have kids, so use your own life. Maybe, yeah. maybe you're in a great position and your kid works, or you're paying that kid to work in your business or firm because they're rich or whatever the case is, and you're paying them uh, fifty thousand dollars. Most kids, I know, when they're when the parent hands us those W twos and we look at them, we're like, look, hey, come on. Yeah, yeah, do I yeah, do they yeah. have to file? No, this sixteen hundred dollars they made for the whole year they didn't take any taxes on. No, you could keep it, right? right? So that money is not going to really go anywhere in my quote unquote household. And if I am the person that is the person, the, I, well, they're my dependent. They're depending on me. Then reward me for having that. Again, to your point, you can fight that and say, listen, at age seventeen, we're gonna decrease the amount that you would get because hey they can't help and get it down by five hundred dollars or something like that that would at least be Listen, something but get out of here i'm still supporting my kid at, at you, 17 18 19 that's just that's you know we can be here all night we could but that's you you're telling me that you don't really see that who's, i see who's it not however who's not taking care of the kid at that age at at some point uh and which again we're going to keep saying whichever side of the fence you're on it college matter. um at some point there's going to have to be a compromise to this bill for it to, to get through. Yeah, but and not the bill. Not the bill. Forward. Not the bill, Bassie. What the, I'm saying is the age. Not no, the bill. I understand. In, in all, but that's a stipulation all... to the bill. Hear me out. Okay. Right? So that's a stipulation to the bill. And if the opposers yeah. already don't want it, I'm sure they don't want it until they're 18 or they're 19. And so or I they, understand that. You know what I and mean? I'm not, Any other change you'd like to make to it. But it's not a... It's, that's devil's advocate and I get it right what I'm saying to you is that's again where my soul can't work yeah well. yeah yeah because yeah. No, I, I don't care about your opposition we're supposed to be doing it for the people rich poor middle class it doesn't matter this is just common sense whoever you are whatever financial situation you're in you are still supporting your kid 18 and 19 for sure you're, you're more likely One supporting them another. further out right? right but what I'm saying to you is they are usually under my roof how about that till at least 19 so common sense would dictate run whatever it is until 19 
After that, they don't want to go to college. They don't want to do whatever they want to do at trade school. That's a different discussion because we have a real understanding that they should have graduated high school by now and there is a transition in their life. At 17, they still come back home. They're still coming back to my house. They don't have their own place. They're not doing nothing. So why are we stopping the funding for the parents who are helping them through the older ages early? And I get your point. That's my frustration. No, Someone no, no, didn't course, think that through. Course, of course. It's not thought through. And, and I think at some point we may be able to readdress it if we, the people, oh, yeah, yeah. everybody agreed. Okay. But when's that going to happen? Never, right? Never. When's that going to happen? You're right. Anyway. Um, we're excited to bring this to you. We're hoping some form of it whether it be this one or revised one that gives you guys more money in your, in your pocket for a longer period of time yeah throughout the year i, I i'm talking past the age oh oh, oh yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we hope we we hope it goes through and of course we're going to institute it here and do yeah. whatever uh we need to on the tax planning and tax preparation side mm -hmm. to get you guys those credits 100%. so once another once again j yet another bill that's on the horizon looking forward to passing hopefully and uh, it's all to get you guys more money in your pocket. And this is also, again, the very, 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 very important topic that you guys really need to pay attention Love to what's it. going on in yep. politics in your local administration, yep. not just when it's time for the president. Because these are the things that are on your small levels that end up going up to the bigger levels. Exactly. And you need to know who it is that's putting these things in place for you. Right, so guys, pay attention to it. I am not the politician. Everybody knows I hate it. My wife will probably laugh hearing this portion. That Shout I'm, out to the RC yeah, Law Group. I'm, I'm the one saying it, but it's true. Right, it really is, guys. So anyway, we thank you for joining us. Uh, we really do hope that both this and if you haven't seen or listened to our other podcasts, I don't know which one's coming out first, but the home buyers. What is it? First time home buyers credit. Right. We pray that both bills, another bill, right? yeah, go through because they really are helpful and they would just impact the community so well, so much. And if you can, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and um, forward this on to your friends. Uh, you can find us on all of our social media platforms, TQ Financial Services, as well as your plat uh, podcasting platform, mm -hmm. TQ Talks by TQ Financial Services. You got it. Guys, thanks for joining us. Any questions, you know, reach out to us. We'd love to help you. Have a great one. Thank you for listening to TQ Talks. If you enjoyed the show, please rate and recommend on iTunes, SoundCloud, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also get more information at tqfinancials.com.